Welcome to an entire face of Milani. And I'm not surprised at how good it is. It is so good. So stay tuned. I'll do my whole face with Milani. And this is from my Bougie on a Budget series, where actually I think I do it to convince me how beautiful drugstore is more than I do it to convince you how beautiful drugstore is. If you're here, you probably already know drugstore is phenomenal quality these days. It's rivaling the big higher end brands. So it just, I get so tickled when I can do a full face of drugstore and feel like I just walked away from a Chanel counter. I'm glad you're here. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. If you're new here, I'm a 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in Hollywood. I'm also the creator of Mature Make Masterclass. I've developed a series of 23 videos on mature technique, including skincare, skin prep. I'm gonna be adding to it soon. I think I'm gonna be adding skin regimens. That's something to think about. Anyway, you can always check out the link and watch the intro video. I love Embryolis. I've been, whoop, <laughs> threw it on the ground. I've been using it since 2015. We used it uh, at ESPN because it's a super fast moisturizer primer that looks great uh, on the skin under makeup. And when we, were in, when we were in a hurry to get someone in and out of there real quick, we loved Embryolisse, and it's in every makeup trailer I've ever worked in. It's just wonderful. It's French, and a lot of you um, will buy it and then say, well, how do I use it? I don't treat this necessarily as a moisturizer. I treat this as a primer. If you are oily, I don't recommend this. I don't recommend this. It might even have pore clogging ingredients in it if you have acne, but I love it for quick pretty primer and it's I want you to think of it not as skincare but as a makeup primer so you would do your skincare you would do your SPF let that set for a couple minutes then do your primer let it set for a couple minutes then do your makeup so primer is always the first step of makeup and SPF is your last step of skincare I hope that makes sense um but I mean, yeah, I love it. It's about 29 bucks, I think, on uh, Amazon, and this is 2.54 ounces. So there you have it. Took all my nails off. Only the thumbnails are hanging on for dear life. So if anyone wants to know why my nails look hideous, that's why. TikTok voted. Everyone said, get them off, take them off, take them off. And that's so I did, and I love it. It's easier to type, you know, because I'm doing color matches all day and, um, well, not all day, usually at night. Anyway, okay, so bougie on a budget. We're doing Milani today. I, I've i loved Milani for a really long time and it's a brand that's easily accessible. You can find it at Target, it's at Walmart. I got mine at Ulta. You can get it on Amazon and it's just a really impressive company. I started doing Milani in 2020. I think prior to that, I'd never really tried Milani and I would do TikToks with Milani and people loved that it was so pretty, but so affordable. So I love Milani. We have the whole thing. It's expensive when you buy it all at once. The drugstore is affordable, but when you buy a whole face at once, it's expensive. So if you love drugstore, then you're not convinced. I mean, I'm not convincing you that drugstore is great. You already know that. I think who I'm convincing are the people who are bougie and snobby like myself. I've always been like huge, huge makeup fan. My mom always used Estee Lauder and Lancome. And um, back in the day, Borghese, I remember Princess Borghese makeup. Um, we loved Ultima too. They made the best eyeshadows. Like we loved us some makeup growing up and so I just grew up doing you know Chanel Dior YSL um then I started working for Mac in the 90s and that was a game changer it opened my eyes to artistry makeup and I just was kind of not a big fan of drugstore but drugstore today is so good so I really love doing these videos because it shows me how beautiful 
you can look in drugstore, it looks high end and it lasts all day. This isn't like coming off my face in four or five hours. It lasts eight, nine, 10 hours, 12 hours. It's, I love it. So I know most of you are like, yeah, no duh, Michelle, but I love it. Okay, so I've decided that I wanted to start with the Milani Glow. This is the hydrating skin tint. And I really got this because on a lot of days, I just wanna wear this alone, but I will also do a foundation today. But I got light. I don't know, is that gonna be too dark for me? It almost looks like it might be too dark. Oh no, this is okay. It's gonna be, that looks pretty yellow, but, oh gosh, I didn't do my eyebrows yet. I'm breaking my own rule. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I jump right in and I break, I break my own rule. I'm gonna put a little under my eyes. Do you see how dark and red I am under this eye specifically? I don't know what that's about. I do not know, but, when I saw this product, I'm like, okay, this is something that I would use every day. I'm going to take a little bit down my neck just because this is very kind of golden and warm. And my neck is warm, but it's light. Okay. Okay. I think I love it. Let's see how it looks in the close-up mirror. Not pretty. I would totally wear this every day. Just like I love the Wet n Wild Skin Hydrator tint. Yeah, I really like this. Does this have F SPF? I don't see that it has SPF, but it says Ultra Luminous Skin Tint. Would you love this if you're oily? Probably not, unless you wanna be super dewy glowy. But I think that this is, um, now I have it all over my hands. Time for a makeup wipe. Okay. Um, this looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm so purple under my eyes today. It's crazy. I mean, I did get to bed at late, like 1 a.m. My daughter and I love watching Gilmore Girls. We're now in season six. We've been watching it since we moved into this house. We don't watch it seven nights a week, but we probably watch it five nights a week. And um, we're up very late every night. And so let's just say mom is a little rough. Okay, let's see how this looks close up. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. I'm sure no one's surprised. Looks great. But now I've got it in my brows. Ugh, so mad at myself. I like to do brows first because when you do brows first, then they're nice and dry and you can draw on top of them. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I did not get Milani powder, so we're gonna use e.l.f. We're gonna have a couple products today that are not Milani, but basically the whole face is Milani. Okay, so we're gonna powder the brows and I'm using a tiny brush because I want it to really get in there. Okay. By the way, this is a crown brush. Oh no, this is Sigma. Love this. 325, 525, E25. <laughs> My vision has really taken a turn for the worst, as you can imagine. I, I can't even see anything anymore. Okay. Okay. Now I will tell you right now, I have some peeling. I did a TCA peel. Today is Thursday the 25th. You're gonna watch this on Saturday the 27th. I did a peel two weeks ago, TCA peel. One layer, 10%, that's very low. And I am just now really starting to shed right here on both sides of my face. And it's so annoying because I gotta get, I gotta move past these. I, you know, I wanna peel, but then at the same time, I don't wanna, it's not fun to do makeup over peely skin. It's, it's not pretty. Okay, so I bought the Milani 
felt tip pen for brows. Let's see. It's darker than I go. They only had a couple colors. I didn't get blonde because when I put blonde on my hand to test the color, it was just too light. It would have never shown up. So when you're doing a pen, all you're doing is you're going into the more sparse areas of your brow to make them look like little hairs. And then if anything's too dark or thick, you can always go in with a spooling, kind of brush some of it out. I mean, it really does look like little hairs. Again, I think brows are so boring, but some of you told me that that was really helpful last week to watch, so I'm letting you watch. But I just think brows are so boring. By the way, today I'm just gonna do kind of a really soft glam look. Look at that, how purple I am. I need my Demi, but that's a different video. Okay, this isn't going on as sharp on this side because I still I have I have too much makeup caught in the brow. And this is why I like to do brows before I do makeup. But that's okay, we can work with it. Yeah, this is um this tip is starting to get coated with makeup and now it doesn't want to brush on. Trying to make sure they're even, you know, and up here we have hair growing in a totally different direction. So you kind of have to put it on differently. All right, well, I don't know if I love this pen. I love how tiny it is. I don't love the color on me but I feel like the application is my fault because I put stinking makeup on. Now we can take a spoolie Oh gosh, here we go. Now we can take a spoolie and kind of brush. Look, I have one. Okay, good, I got that little one. What do we think? <laughs> My daughter just came home, so Tate needs to let us all know. You stay here, please. Okay, I've used this before. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna do eyes before I do foundation, even though I have the skin tint on. I did buy the foundation. By the way, this is my last bougie on a budget where I'm doing a whole face of one brand, but I will continue to do drugstore because it's popular. This is what women want and I, I'm here for you. I'm not here for me. So if everyone wants to see drugstore, I have another really beautiful, I think, beautiful foundation to show you from drugstore. And that'll be for a different week. And then Friday, I mean, um, February, I'm really going to focus on a lot of skincare and we're gonna talk about the peels I'm doing and we're gonna talk about my one year plastic surgery update. Okay, I'm lightly dusting powder over that primer because remember powder blends best on powder. Okay. 
I want to show you something because someone said something so funny in my video the other day in the comments. They were like, oh, your eyeshadow is not blended. No, they're blended beautifully. If I look in this mirror right here and it's a magnification mirror. It's very soft and airbrushed. But what we have here is we have peaks and valleys. We have some creepiness. Okay. Um, we have a fall. It's okay, honey. We have a, a falling hood. We have some um, veins. And so you take all of that texture and veins into account and it's not going to look smooth and like a, a young influencer. So please stop comparing younger women to my end result. My end result's always going to look different because I'm a mature woman. I'm a 30 year pro. I know how to blend. I blend eyeshadows better than most makeup artists I've ever worked with because you can always see where the shadow starts and stops. For me, no, I blend it out so it looks airbrushed. I'm very good at blending. But when you have texture and some little, you know, weird pockets and dimples and, and veins and creepiness, it's not going to look the same. And I don't use filters. Let's talk about that. So it just cracks me up when someone says, and it's not very often, but if someone says, oh, that's not blended well. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Sally, how about you do a video over 50, do a video, post it, let us all critique it. I'll be nice, but let me critique you doing your face over 50. I, I would love to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this really pretty warm brown. I'm using this fluffy brush by Nikki LaRose. Listen, I just grab brushes, okay? I just grab brushes. No, this is not drugstore brush. I do have drugstore brushes in my pro kit for when I do like bridesmaids, I use a lot of real techniques because there's no time to, there's no time to wash brushes in between, like if I'm doing six bridesmaids. So I'll buy a set of real techniques for each bridesmaid. So I use a lot of real techniques or if I'm doing a film and I'm just on background, I'm not doing the main cast, I'm just helping with background for that day. I'll use a lot of drugstore brushes for that. I also love crown brushes. Um, crown brushes actually make a lot of, I don't think they make BK Beauty, but crown brushes make a lot of brushes for other brands. And also um, I use Morphe, I like Morphe brushes. And I like the Real Techniques because Real Techniques was de developed by uh, real working makeup artists. Okay, now this side's heavier than this side, so I gotta go back in. Okay. Not blended yet. I realize that, thank you. Thank you for letting me know I suck at blending. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this little nice angled MAC brush and I'm gonna use this kind of bone color. It looks lighter here than in person. And I'm gonna just, I'm always, always blending edges because I never want to see where a shadow starts and stops. But like, look, even right here, I've got a big vein. I have a crinkle in my eye right there. I'm never gonna be smooth and beautiful like the young women. But that's why I'm here teaching. Like I'm here teaching you how to look good close up. But we're not always going to have that super, super smooth eyelid because that ship has sailed. Okay, look at that. That's super blended. Okay, so that's all I have on so far. Just these two colors and honestly we that could be fine we could be done this is so pretty 
I also bought some of their fun little chunky pencils. I love a pencil. Laura Mercier makes some. Bobby Brown makes some. Fleck um, or Freck, not Freck, not Fleck, Freck. Um, who else makes great chunky pencils? A ton of brands and I love them. So I'm gonna do this light champagne color. Uh-oh, it just fell out. This one is called Sand. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Um, do you see it? So I'm gonna do sand on the inner corner. Oh yeah, super pretty. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier one. See that? Isn't that pretty? Just a little bit on the inner corner, just to add a little bit of a pretty highlight. See? A little pretty highlight right there. Love it. Too bad it went flying out, but I can still use it. I'm not going to return it. And then I love this chunky brown one. This one is called Tara. And I'm going to go in the outer corners. I'm not going to do the whole under eye because it could be too dark and heavy. And then I'm going to do I'm gonna smoke it in a minute, okay? I'm gonna smoke it. That's really pretty. Kind of effortless to put on just cause it's a big, fat, chunky pencil. I love that. And then I'm gonna take a little pencil brush. This is MAC and before the pencil sets, I'm gonna smoke it out. See how smoky and blended that is? I remember I have texture and creepiness on my eyes, so when I say it's smoky and well blended, it's smoky and well blended for a 56 year old eye that has texture and sag and veins okay very nice someone told me the other day that they put me well first of all my friend kelly said she got an elliptical trainer so she put me on her giant screen tv so she watches me when she works out and that's a horrifying thought because i prefer people watching youtube on phone ipad laptop where i'm smaller <laughs> And then someone the other day said that they saw me um, on their, they put me on their large TV and I'm like, please don't, please don't. And I'll tell you why. When I went to see the Barbie movie, I love Margot Robbie. I've always thought she was so beautiful. I loved her as Harley Quinn. I think we can all agree Margot Robbie is a beautiful woman. When I went to see Barbie, um, she was just flawless. Then we watched Barbie at home and my husband walked into the room because we have that, you know, a new, brand new, high def television. And he's like, whoa, I could see every pore on her face. I said, yeah, funny. We didn't see that in the film, but now on high def television, it's so high def. It's so ultra high def, which is great for sports. It's great for nature. It's not great for people. It shows hair. It shows pores. It shows acne marks. It shows everything and it's distracting. I don't want to see Margot Robbie's pores. Not when I'm watching a movie. It's fine if she's on social media and she's showing, hey, look, I have real life skin. But in a movie, I don't want to be thrown off by seeing flaws. I just want to pay attention to the beauty, the story. So please don't watch me on a large TV is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now I'm going to take this beautiful gold. Pretty, pretty and just do it in the middle, okay? I'm not doing the whole eye and I'm not doing a brush. I'm just tapping it in the middle. It's just to add a little bit of shimmer when we move our head, that you can see a little bit of shimmer on our eyelid, but we don't have it everywhere, okay? I love that. How are we thinking so far? I think, we're, I think I'm loving this. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of this pretty bone color. I'm gonna go up into the brow bone a little bit more. Okay, 
Look at that with this shirt. That's why I wear this shirt today. I saw this palette and I'm like, this is pretty. This is something I will wear a lot. I would wear this a lot in the summer. I love these warm colors. They bring out the green in my eyes. Okay, now they were sold out of pencils. They were sold out. They did not have eye pencils. So I'm going to take, hold on. Okay, I needed to stop the video because I have to kind of do it in 20 minute segments or else it's too hard to upload. I am taking the L'Oreal Infallible in a dark brown because at least it's drugstore, but Milani did not have anything. They had one black liquid liner and I, I didn't, mm -mm. it wasn't even a felt pen. I could use a felt pen, but it was just a black old fashioned liquid liner. I was like, no, I didn't, I don't want that mess. Okay, so. I, you know, I love a wing. You don't have to do a wing. I'm not telling you that you're gonna look better with a wing. I'm not gonna tell you that you need to wear a wing. The wing is a personal choice. I just am a wing girl. I, I don't even recognize my eyes unless I have a wing, okay? Now I'm also going in the inner corners, but I'm not doing my bottom waterline because I don't want to. So we have on that chunky brown pencil, but that's almost like a more of a shadow stick. And then this is our true eyeliner. Okay, let me see. Not loving my wings, but you know what? We're not gonna mess up good for perfect. That's another thing about my channel. I, I teach you how to look good close up, but we're not going for perfection. We're just going for everyday cute. I'm not trying to teach you that it has to be perfect and this wing has to totally match this wing. No, it doesn't. Just put it on and look cute, okay? My gosh, there's so many filters on this app. You're really gonna compare my mature skin to the women using filters? Come on, that is not even an even playing field. Okay, there. I'm using the tip. This is what I love about this pencil is they come with these little blendy tips. Okay. So let me see. 100% blended beautifully in person. How does it look on camera? I think it looks good. I'm sure I'll get someone saying, it's not blended. Sorry. Okay, you already know I love this. I've done this in my Monday reviews. I love a tubing mascara. Thrive is my favorite. Look, they even copied the Thrive color. This is Milani Lash Extensions. I love, love, love this mascara. I might go back in with more eyeshadow too, but I won't know until I get my lashes on. I was gonna go out tonight with a friend, but she had to cancel. So I can do whatever I want today, it doesn't matter. Cause it's not gonna look crazy when I go out. Tubing mascara, if you don't know, coats each lash with a tube of polymers. So think of like a hollow spaghetti and your lash is going in the middle of a hollow spaghetti. And it's warm water removal. So tonight when I go to wash my face, I will either really saturate a microfiber cloth with hot to warm water and let it sit on my eye for like 30 seconds. And then when I do this, they all slide off. It's messy in the sink. I'm gonna warn you right now, it's messy in the sink, but it's never messy on the face. And that's why I love tubing mascara. When I worked in Wilmington, which is a swamp, it's a swamp to work in Wilmington, but when I did television and film outdoors in the summer in Wilmington, I always wore a tubing mascara. And when I got back to the hotel room and I couldn't wait to shower because you're so sticky all day, you're sticky from heat, you're sticky from humidity, then you've got layers and layers of SPF on. And then because we're in North Carolina, we have to wear a ton of mosquito spray. So by the time I would get back to my hotel room late at night after like a 16 hour day, I just, you just almost want to 
be hosed off. It's, it's the grossest feeling. I do not miss that lifestyle. I miss television and film sometimes, but I don't miss being out in the freezing cold all day or the sweltering humidity. But I will say that when I would get back, I would be like, oh my gosh, my lashes still look good because it's tubing mascara. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of length, you'll get some thickening, you'll get a little volume, but it's not a volume mascara. And when I tell you um, that it just absolutely doesn't smear or flake, it, it's, it just doesn't, it's, it's incredible. I love a tubing mascara, okay? I'm gonna let that dry before I go back in, but I've decided I do want a little bit of a darker shadow smoked in the outer corner, so we will revisit that in a minute. Um, right now, we're going to do this. Um, now, I have their Conceal and Perfect, and this is also Conceal and Perfect. And they're saying this can be a concealer. This is a long wear concealer, and this says two in one. Let's do this. I can always go back to this if I need something lighter, but I like the shade of this. This is um, natural number two. I do find that drugstore runs really dark. It's probably too much, but it's okay. Where is my great little, here we go. We need a foundation brush. So I'm gonna take the tiniest bit Tiny, 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 it's looking good. And I'm only gonna go where I need coverage. So for me, that's my, I can't tell if it has a smell or if it's the smell of my brush. It's probably the smell of my brush from brush cleaner. Okay. So from looking in this mirror right here, it's looking really pretty. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit up through here. A little bit in the center of the forehead because I know I'm not wearing any bronzer in the center of the forehead, so I could do a little bit. Oh gosh, that's looking pretty, right? Okay, I gotta look at this close up, really close up. This is the best mirror in the world. I think it's $16.99. It doesn't distort your face. I keep forgetting to wet my stands out sponge, which is why you aren't seeing me use it very much. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous on the nose. This is really pretty. Let me know in comments if you've tried it. Okay, I just did it on the inner cheek, nose, upper lip. I'm kind of not going too much into my parentheses. It got dark outside. Did you see me just kind of illuminate and look how dark my room is? So this is gonna be an interesting video, but here we are. Okay. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more on the outside of my cheeks. I have to really baby my skin right now because yesterday I did a, a Fenty, I did a Fenty uh, foundation stick video for TikTok and I was literally shedding skin right through it. It was so gross. That's the part I hate about retinol, tretinoin, peels, any of it. You are going to definitely have some downtime. You're gonna have, one pump was more than enough. I gave myself two pumps, it was too much. Okay, I do want this concealer on my jawline.
because I like to have a slightly lighter jawline. And since jawlines don't show too much age, I mean, as we get older, everything shows age, but our jawline is still pretty smooth skin. So I'm going a little bit lighter. Can you see that? A little bit lighter in the jawline, just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Yes, looks great. And then maybe take a little bit. I cannot get over this red purple under my eye today. What is up with that? Looks like I've been on a bender. Okay, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm now gonna use Hmm. I'm gonna use this little rougher brush. It's real floppy and fluffy. So I'm doing this, I'm picking up a little bit. I've done this Milani concealer before. And I remember liking it, but then, you know, I just get away from drugstore. That looks so good. I always like to tap it in with my fingers so that I don't have any edges. It blends seamless, seamlessly into my skin. That's the little rougher number 14 brush. It's real flop, fluffy and I love it. Okay. Do I need to powder? I don't think I need to powder yet. Okay. I bought, they didn't have a bronzer that I liked, so I bought their stick. This is their supercharged. If you know this line, they make a, pe a peach color corrector, so it's part of this line too. It's a peach in a tube. It's like $16.99 peach color corrector, and if you're just running out errands real quick or going to the gym, it's really nice under the eye. I've used it before, but I didn't buy it because I knew I had it, and then I came home and I couldn't find it. Oh my gosh. This is sheer. I thought this was gonna have a ton of pigment. Wow, I was not expecting that. I'm not mad at it though. I actually prefer it. Oh my gosh. This is a multi-purpose stick. It could be used anywhere on the face. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. You know, it's winter, so I don't want too much bronzer. We don't want to be crazy. I always brush it into the hairline. I love that. I'm going to go a little on the nose. I love that. I'm gonna put it heavier on my nose because I really want my nose to look like it's a little bit deeper and I got some sun. Winner, winner, 150 um, electric bronze, 150 electric bronze. Winner, that is a winner. Okay, now I am gonna powder and I'll tell you why. I have a powder blush coming. This is their number one bestseller. It's called uh, Luminosity, Luminoso. Luminoso, and it looks like, 
NARS made a, when NARS did orgasm, and I hate saying that name and I hate it when I'm putting it on young women, but they also made a color called Deep Throat. Can you tell it was all named by a gay man? So Deep Throat was the peach version of orgasm. Orgasm was a warm pink with gold shimmer. Deep Throat was a peach with gold shimmer. And this looks exactly like NARS Deep Throat. If you know, you know, okay? But it's going to require some powder because powder blends best on powder. So where's my little, I'm gonna do my little I'm gonna do my little powder blush by Saint. I love this powder brush by Saint because it's not too big. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my brow, brow bone area and my forehead. I'm gonna do my nose, a little on my chin. Okay, now this is where I have to be careful. So I'm just kind of patting it in like a little circular motion because I don't want to lift off that beautiful bronzer I just put on, especially because it's a cream product. But I have to create a powdery surface for that powder to blend really well. That's pretty. It still has a glow, but it's now a more natural finish. It's not so dewy because a lot of people don't like dewy, especially a lot of um, mature women don't like dewy. A lot of oily women don't like dewy. I completely respect that. Okay, so we're going to take good old fashioned luminoso, pick up a little bit. Oh my gosh. It's like a blush and highlighter in one. Ooh, too much. But in person, it doesn't look too much. It just looks too much on camera. That's okay. We can. I'll show you how we can fix that. I'm actually glad that happens because I think it's a teaching moment to show you. Now, what all the um, celebrity makeup artists are doing right now on red carpet and um, a lot of the, the celebrities are wearing is, okay, see my apple? So it's in my apple, but it's not all the way in here, okay? Now, once you're done, you can kind of go in and blend the outer edges, which kind of takes it in a little bit, but it with less pigment. So you're just taking traces of it. Now, if you don't have apple cheeks like me, then you can definitely do it high and, and on the outside. You can do it blush any way you want. I personally always put it in the apples of the cheek and 99% of women in my chair, when I say, do you like a little blush in the apples? They say yes because that's where we blush naturally. If we get embarrassed or when we were a kid, we went outside to play and we'd get kind of flushed. You get flushed through here. You don't get flushed on the side of your face. Most of us don't. And so this is why you're gonna see celebrity makeup artists keeping blush a little bit more in the apple, but yeah, you can go, but you don't wanna go too high up here because now you're gonna be dealing with crow's feet. So it's very, special place to put it. And I realize that looks a little cuckoo right now. It's a little cuckoo, but here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna take our foundation brush. I'm not dipping more foundation. I'm just going in with the foundation brush Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm blending the little bit of foundation left on here. Also probably has a little concealer. I'm blending it over it just a little bit. I love it. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. What's left over, I'll do a little bit up here, okay? 
So do you see how much softer that is now? You just have to take your foundation. I teach this with Saint too. If you're here from Saint, you can go over it with the 3D brush and a little bit of your main shade and go over the blush and it softens everything. I love it. I could not love it more. Okay, now I feel like I need the tiniest bit more on my eyes, just the tiniest bit. So I'm gonna go in with, ooh. Do I want the chocolate or the terracotta? I think we'll do the chocolate. We're gonna do the chocolate. We're going in with chocolate. I'm gonna do this teeny, teeny, tiny Morphe brush. This is Morphe. Love it. No, what number is this? It doesn't say. I probably got it in a kit, but I like the little teeny, tiny part of it. So I'm gonna just kind of swirl it. Always tap excess away. And I want a little bit. on the outside of my eye. See that? I re-dipped a little bit because now I'm gonna go in to just the outer crease. You could do this with a hooded eye too. If you really wanna see the easiest hooded eye video, I do a hooded eye video from about, I don't know, two, three years ago when I had more of a hooded eye. And it's probably my top video on YouTube. Okay, do you see that? Look at the difference. So here, my brow. Dude, I hate it when my phone cuts me off. See, I, I, this, I love this look, but I wanted to go a little bit heavier. Okay, so this is a nice look and that's just a little heavier. I haven't blended it fully yet, but we're going into the outer eye. And then I'm taking it in to the outer crease. The cool thing about shadows is, is if you screw up or if you go too dark, it's all fixable. Isn't that great? It's just makeup, it's all fixable. The only time it's not fixable is if your makeup's balling up and nothing's sticking. Sometimes you have to take it all off and start over. And that's usually because something you're wearing isn't agreeing with something. My phone keeps saying it's out of storage. So we're in big trouble if that's true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this brush. Um, I'm not re-dipping. I'm just gonna kind of, see? And now see how it's darker there, but there it's now more blended, that's it. I'm just taking it over the dark shadow we just placed. Okay. Now I'm looking in this mirror right here. It looks fully soft and airbrushed. So if you're telling me it's not blended, that's a mature skin issue. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with Milani also didn't have lit pencils that I liked. They were either too dark or shades that I would never wear. So I am gonna use e.l.f. and this e.l.f. color is, Truth or Bear, Truth or Bear. I'm gonna have to go buy a new phone today. I love these e.l.f. liners. I use them all the time, two bucks. I like to do the side of the pencil, so the inside of my lip is naked. but the outside of my lip has a little pencil. And then I found a lip gloss that 
So it's keep it full, so it's a plumping gloss. And it looks to me kind of like the blush. In fact, is this called Luminoso also? Yeah, this is also Luminoso number 04, so it's gonna match the blush for a real pretty cohesive look. Let's see. Ah, <gasps> mm. This whole peachy, warm brown, coppery gold, this is my jam, bronzer. This is my favorite palette for me. Not everyone can wear this. If you're a spring or summer, this is your palette. If you're a winter, summer, you could do this look, but with more pinks and neutral browns. But anyway, I'm really just trying to demonstrate how beautiful Milani is. I mean, this, come on, this feels super high end. I'm gonna do a little powder right through here. Oh, and we have a setting spray. Now, I had the Milani setting spray in dewy but a lot of women don't like to be dewy and we're not seeing a lot of dewy on the red carpet. We're seeing very natural soft finishes. So I bought their original and it says it's 16 hour hold. Especially getting it through here because that's where makeup doesn't want to stay on or it gets too dry looking with powder. Oh my gosh, I love this look. I love this look. I love this. I, I feel more like me in this color palette than anything. Okay, I'll be back for final thoughts. Okay, just took my hair down like to see her around my face. I love it. What do you think? Even if you just didn't do this color palette, the quality, the quality is so beautiful. You know what I might wanna do? It's funny from certain angles, I'm like, do I like the blush right there? Let's see. Um, always reevaluate your face. Just look at it from different angles and different lighting. I don't want to get too close to my. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too close to my problem texture areas, which is my parentheses. My parentheses are really becoming a problem, but. Like Justine Bateman says, you're never as cute as you are today. You're never gonna look as young as you do today. All right, well, I love it. So, I, I mean, honestly, this could be Chanel or YSL or Dior or Charlotte Tilbury. It feels very Charlotte Tilbury. She uses a lot of warm colors. I think this is so pretty. I've decided not to do fake lashes just because I'm trying to um, get away from using them as much, but I love this, this eye. I love it. Okay. I hope that was helpful. And I hope I turned you on to some new Milani products that I really like, and I'm really impressed with and come back in the month of February, because I'm going to be doing a one year update on my plastic surgery. And just my belief is in what's happening to women who are doing so many procedures other than surgery. I have a lot to say about that. I might, I might rustle some feathers. And then we're also gonna talk about my peels in the month of February. We're gonna talk skincare because we're still in the throes of winter and it's just so hard on our skin. Just, it's just when we sleep, all the moisture gets sucked out, okay? And I'll do budget skincare as well as, you know, my favorite higher end skincare because I like to accommodate all budgets. I'm here for everybody. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. And come back for kind of a different look. Next week, I'm going to have a whole different look. Do you know why? Stay tuned. Bye for now.